one of my primary responsibilities during winter is attacking the level of ash that has <laughs> as my skin in a chokehold. This is my fourth time today putting on hand cream. And we know how it sends the girls when my hands be ashy, girl. Let me try to lubricate. Hey good people, it is Tishara from Politics and Fashion here today with a very fun episode of Vlogmas where I'm going to talk to you about my favorite luxury purchases of 2022. These are the items that really did their thing, the items that were what I believe to be the best investments, uh, the items that I feel like I got the greatest cost per wear out of, or that I am the most excited to wear going into 2023. And you all know that I am someone who loves jewelry, gold jewelry in particular. I've been like this ever since I was a young child. I still remember my first nameplate necklace, my first hair and bone chain. I wish I still had them because trust that they would be in rotation to this day. So I'm very excited to be partnering with the kind people over at Idol for this portion of the video. If you don't know, Idol is an amazing company that creates a lab grown diamonds, which means that they are ethically sourced. The shine on the diamonds is all of that and more you will see in just a bit. But one of the great parts about it is that they have a modular design, which means that they can be mixed and matched and worn a variety of ways. They're also very affordable. And so if you are someone who's looking to get into fine jewelry and diamonds in particular, they are indeed a girl's best friend. It's also my birthstone, okay? <laughs> then I would highly recommend starting at Idol as a place where you can go and get some great interchangeable diamond pieces. The metals are real, the stones are real, the prices are great. Trust me on that, okay? And what I also love is that the packaging is just delicious it's delicious and so let me show you what came in the box as I show you the pieces first we have the idol card which talks about their philosophy behind the brand solid gold as I mentioned great craftsmanship it's a fair price sustainable and also conflict free diamonds as well as the modular design what I love are the travel accessories, y'all know I travel a whole lot. In this case, which is silk, and on the inside of it, I cannot wait to travel with this. I'm about to feel so fancy. Is this small jewelry case that you can put your pieces inside of. If you are giving these pieces as a gift, the idle gift box is here. And it has the tissue paper, a wonderful handwritten note was given to me to shower. Welcome to the idol team. We can't wait to see you glow in our diamonds and we are so excited to see where, where we take this partnership. Enjoy the sparkles. Very, very sweet. A small mirror is here and it's wooden on this side, which is nice. And here's something that I think is so smart. It is this stack of cards. And because I told you that the earrings are all, the diamonds are interchangeable, what you can do is put a pair of earrings or a single earring in all of these holes so you can see what the design looks like with the additional pieces. And I don't know about you, but I am definitely, y'all, the kind of person that I love either giving or receiving gifts that can be built upon, right? And so it's so dope to me that you can get someone a pair of diamond studs and then over time, or gift yourself, you start to build them out. Let's get into the diamonds, shall we? In the travel case, I already have my new pieces. These are the live earrings, the longer part here. It almost looks like a constellation, which I love. And on the inside of the lives, I actually have two diamond studs and attached to one of the lives here is the spark cuff. You don't need a piercing to wear the cuff. It just simply fits within the inner part of your ear. 
Let me try these on so you can see what they look like. I'm obsessed. 100% obsessed. Do you see this? Girl. It is the full ear candy for me. And the first hole, I have the Live earrings. Uh, again, I could take the Live edition, this back portion, off. And I would just have the Diamond Studs, which I also love as a way to wear um, the pieces from Idol. But I think, because I am an Air Candy girl, I do really like the way that the Lives fit with the Diamond Studs. And then I have two other piercings, so three in each ear. And I feel like this stacks really well. And then the chain and the ear cuff is such a great way to set it off. And the sparkle and the shine on these is top notch for sure. I'm really floored by the look. Large earrings have had me in a chokehold for so long until this is really astonishing how much I love this, okay? And again, I think it is just a layering effect that the pieces do. Many thanks to Idol for sponsoring this portion of this episode of Vlogmas. I'll make sure everything is linked down below. In the meantime, I'm actually going to play around because I want to see how these pieces are going to layer up for my next Idol purchases. So we have a few parts of today's video. I am going to share with you all my favorite luxury purchases of 2022. I also am going to unbox my Christmas gifts that I got from friends and family here before I go back home. And then tonight we are going out for drinks at the Conrad in DC. Stick around. You will not want to miss anything that I share in today's video. But let's hop over now to my favorite luxury purchases. 2022 was most definitely the year of ready to wear for me, which I'm really excited about because I actually share it with you all. If you go back to my luxury wish list of this year that I wanted to get more into ready to wear. And so I have a few pieces here that I'm going to share that were the standout. They were the ones and not the twos. First up are the Dries Ben Not In Pants. I will insert pictures so you all can see these items on. Uh, I first wore these at New York Fashion Week. I've worn them on top of bathing suits as resort wear. I have worn them at the bar, at the club, at the restaurant, panties on, jeans on. Like I've worn them a multitude of ways. They are the pants that keep on giving. They are a talking piece, a conversation starter, who doesn't need a pair of sheer pants, okay? I, I just, I can't be convinced that we don't all need a pair of pants like this. And what they did for me was solidify me as a Dries Ben Naughton fan. I think before I found these pants, I didn't even know who Friend was. And now I am stalking every single website like a thief in the night looking for more Dries Van Notten pieces. I've seen boots that I love by him. I've seen turtlenecks. I saw this great leather bib shirt that I'm still dreaming about, but I had to respect myself and not get it while I was in Lisbon. It's just so much. It is so many great pieces that he does, and I'm so happy that I have this piece by him in my collection. Best purchase for sure, 2022. And then for a great casual everyday piece, I have the Fendi Vertigo dress. Let me show you here. It has this kind of raised terry cloth effect to it. I grabbed this at the outlets in New York called Woodbury Commons. Uh, and I should also mention that I got the first pair of pants, the Dries Van Notten pants on sale. I don't have any ready to wear this luxury that I paid full like USD for full USD and you'll uh, find out why I say that in just a minute. Um, but this has been such an easy dress to wear, to just throw on. It's kind of bodycon. I have a pair of Fendi sandals that I love to wear with it. And I also have the same dress as my friend Bernice Hager. Hey Another piece that I got on sale, or in this case at the outlet as well, is this dress 
by Bottega. It's not gonna look like anything here. Take a look at the picture. I wore this when I was in LA last. I cannot wait to wear this again when the weather warms up. Just out and about. The side boob that it gives is disrespectful. The back that it gives is disrespectful. Like fire extinguishers are needed. The way <laughs> that when I walk in how the path is lit up. Girl, please. Body, adi, adi category is body love it love it and the deep chocolate brown for me just set everything off this year and then let me talk about what i am wearing today by the way i have a black turtleneck on that is underneath my loewe anagram sweater which you all would have seen in my fall haul and maybe during vlogmas as well um now this was full price but i mentioned not paying full usd on purpose because this sweater is i think 1100 1140 right now retail and i paid 800 before I got my taxes back for it while I was in Lisbon, Portugal. So that's what made it for me and it's kind of cropped y'all. Um, a better or a more affordable purchase, one that I could justify, okay? <laughs> Although I feel like I have really been deliberate about fulfilling my intention of shopping and enjoying more designer ready to wear. And so I'll have her forever. She's a great piece. I love the fact that it has the Ray's Anagram logo. Everything that I can, I will link down below for my best purchases. But this is a new piece that I highly recommend. And I also think it comes in two or three other colors. Handbags I won't go into great detail about because I did do a handbag video earlier this year, collection video, that I know this was part of. Y'all are probably so tired of seeing this. Uh, it is a Valentino V logo vanity case that has the gold strap. There is not a day of the week that I don't pull this out, um, especially if I am going out at some point. So like this is my go-to. I am hitting the streets. I'm going to happy hour. I'm going to a cute little brunch situation bag no it does not fit your phone but it holds my very limited amount of patience and that's all i need then i grabbed at tj maxx just went in off the humble saw this in the case and i had been looking for a tan bag this raffia valentino v logo bag i'm a fan of the whole v logo collection by the way i'm a fan of the maison i love valentino i don't have any ready to wear uh, from the brand that should probably be on my wish list for 2023 but i have to say that between these two bags this year and i got this right before I went to Miami for the white toenail season retreat. I definitely feel like I hit my mark this year with handbags, especially when I add one more. You already know what it was gonna be. You already know, look, I'm, I'm like pushing myself out of the camera so you can see the bag. Girl. Another Lisbon, Portugal purchase. Also much cheaper than the US. I paid less than retail by over a thousand dollars for this bag in Portugal than I would have in the US. So that actually is a theme for all of the luxury pieces that I have mentioned to you thus far. Everything was on sale, purchased at an outlet or purchased overseas where it was cheaper. There are very, very few times that I'm gonna pay full price for luxury items. It has to be something that moves me in a different type of way, okay? Uh, in this bag, I was not ready to pull the trigger on it full price, but when I saw it full price US, when, and when I saw this in Lisbon for the price, I knew that I had to have it. I won't go into great detail because I have a dedicated video to the Loewe Bay Puzzle bag where I also get into a bit of the history of the brand. So go back and take a look at that. Next, let's talk about shoes, and these will be absolutely no surprise. These are by Saint Laurent. They are the Mink Mules. They also come in white. I think the black has long been sold out and it's for good reason. I grabbed these right before fashion week and they have been a pair of shoes that I've probably styled y'all in almost every video since I have had them. Because I am such a monochrome dresser, having something like this that breaks up the, um, the color palette or that provides a bit more texture is, look how that just goes together. A way that I'm able to keep my basics from all being boring and so I have loved these so much I know they are still available in white second pair of shoes are the Jimmy Choo Bings and I don't know why y'all didn't tell me about these 
Why y'all didn't tell me about these? I'm holding you responsible. Girl. <laughs> I want them in every color. First of all, Jimmy Choo goes up to a size 43. One of the few luxury brands that does that. I am typically a 42. But in a shoe like this, I love the ability to go up to a 43 because I don't have to worry about my toes coming near the point of the shoe, which helps them to be a lot more comfortable. I got these for Fashion Week in September, and when I tell you I was like out and about mobbing in the city with these on, love them. And I feel like metallics can be worn as a nude. And so I've been able to wear these with a lot of pieces and a lot of outfits that have not necessarily been the dressiest or have not necessarily been the same color of yellow or golden just to be a pop and just to bring a bit of pizzazz to an outfit, which y'all know I always love. I talk about contrast dressing with you all the time. I'll add two luxury fragrances to the list for this year because this has been a year where I I've been speaking to you all a lot more about fragrances. Have always loved them, but I've tried to be more disciplined about bringing them into the platform since so many people are interested. This one I got at a recommendation from Brittany of Pockets and Bows, and she did not steer the girls wrong. It's called Lay Enter D by Givenchy. It is actually a perfect fragrance for this time of year. I am wearing it today. It is a sweet but spicy fragrance. It's very sultry. The best way to describe it for me is almost like velvety which I know is not a scent note, but if the fragrance was a texture, it would be velvet. It's just a very, very sexy fragrance. And the other thing I have in the body cream, but I plan to get the perfume, and that is the Delina. Pro tip, if you're not ready to take the plunge into the full price perfume, because this is very, very pricey, then the body cream, if it is very fragrant, is the next best thing. And that's what I've done with this. And this is just such a fresh floral fragrance. And there is something about this nestled in the neck. When I tell you, they be like, what is that smell? Like has them going crazy, that Delina, that Delina will do it. So again, I have to also get the fragrance going into 2023, but these two have been my faves for sure. The last thing that I will mention are actually experiences. Lisa Nichols, who is the motivational speaker, self-help guru, often says that luxury is privileged circumstances. And so from that perspective, anything, anywhere, anyone, honestly, can be a luxury. It's all about having the privileged circumstances that surround it. And so I have to bring up some of my travels. In April, I turned 40, and then in May, I took my family and friends on what I think is a once in a lifetime vacation to Tulum. We descended upon the jungle and we had us a great time, okay? Um, and as my contribution for the trip, I paid for the house, I paid for the catering, we had dinner, we had cocktails, we had an amazing time. Um, and the property was absolutely gorgeous with separate rooms with their own bathroom and two pools. Make sure to take a look at the blog if you are looking for any recommendations around Tulum. Uh, all I can say is that was the trip that really helped me to come back home and sit and rest in gratitude and know that I could keep on pushing despite what I was going through at that time, which a lot of people didn't even know about um, because I was surrounded by so much love, so much love. And that was the gift that I wanted, right? I think that Material things come and go, they're fleeting. However, the love of family and friends is what really is most important. And of course, it's what lasts a lifetime. And so being centered and anchored in that way, being held and being healed, honestly, um, during that trip is something that I will never forget. And I'm always going to just be grateful for, but also pat myself on the back like, you did that. You did. I set an intention and I made it happen. And then uh, later on, so in June, I think, or July, I went to Mexico City for a week by myself. My first solo trip out of the country. I stayed in an Airbnb. I got around all by myself. I ate at nice restaurants. I did a little bit of work. I shopped a little bit. It was just fantastic. And Mexico City is one of my favorite cities in the world for sure. And in October, as I've already mentioned, I went to Lisbon and I treated my mom to that trip to Lisbon, Portugal. And so 
three amazing travel experiences this year that I definitely feel like are at the top of my luxury best purchases. So that is all for now, y'all. Uh, I do wanna dig a bit deeper, so I probably will do a separate video where I'm sitting down talking to you in greater detail about my best purchases and also talking to you about my worst purchases because there were some of those as well. Um, and I am going to now, however, cut to uh, me opening my Christmas gifts, as I mentioned from family and friends, because I really wanna share that with you all before I get on the road very soon. So let's Let's roll that beautiful bean footage here. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Oh. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. All right, I'm trying to put everything in the right place. Hey good people, I got up this morning, I got all of my consulting work done and so I decided I wanted to sit down with you before I head out for Christmas to share with you what I got for Christmas. So uh, I will not be in my home in the DC Metro, instead I will be back home in Florida with my grandparents and other members of my family. And so I did a early gift exchange with friends and I also have some great gifts from brands including black owned brands. And so I'm looking around me just so grateful for all of the love and support that you all have given to me personally, if you're my family and friends, obviously, but also to the brand. So let's jump in. I'm not gonna say who, what gift came from. I think that's a little bit too invasive. <laughs> However, the items that I can find, I will link down below, okay? If not, just pay attention to the brands and hopefully you can find these pieces too. Uh, we're gonna go at least though in the order of the black owned brands and go from there, okay? So the first gift I got was from Nature The Label. And I have been looking at this item on the website. So when I got it, I was too hyped. And while it looks like a long necklace, which is how it can, of course, be worn, it is actually a belly chain. So I am someone who has always been fascinated with waist beads, but I've never had a pair like of the African waist bead. And I feel like because I'm such a lover of gold, this is probably my speed. And so also you all know, I'm like Mrs. T out here. I gotta wear all of my jewelry at once. I feel like I need at least three and different waist sizes, which is the great part about this y'all. It comes in different waist sizes and it has the chain here for you to decide the best width for you. We'll definitely be getting more of these. Very, very grateful. First black on brand, Nature The Label. Um, by the way, the necklace that I'm wearing, from, wearing today is from them. The next black on brand that I got for Christmas is Almasika. You all may remember them. This is truly a full circle moment because I first talked about Almasika in a video at the beginning of this year as far as what was on my 2022 wish list. And I talked about really wanting to get more jewelry. And Almasika Fine Jewelry was on the list in February. I stopped by a boutique in um, Puerto Rico say Panama City and I've never even been there. I stopped by a boutique in Puerto Rico that sold their pieces and just fell even deeper in love. Unfortunately, the item that I had my eye on that I just knew I was going to pull the trigger on this year did not happen, had other priorities. And so I almost cried to know that I wanted a piece from them so bad and then this shows up in the mail directly from the founder, designer, CEO, Catherine. So I'm grateful for everything, but I just have to say what this means for me and for politics and fashion to be seen this way by an amazing black owned fine jewelry brand. And so this was one of the pieces that was on my list. Y'all know how much I love pendant necklaces. And it is a necklace gold on a gold chain with a small diamond on the inside. The packaging was delightful and I got a handwritten note which is also their authenticity card. As well as 
this brochure that has their brand philosophy, some backgrounds about the brand, and what I love is this, which I will be keeping on my vision board, my manifestation board for 2023. And a note from the founder says, Dear Tashira, thank you so much for the support. As a token of our appreciation, please accept our Stella medallion. Stella, quote unquote, the star, refers to the traditional Akan saying, just as all the fruits do not ripen at the same time, so all the stars do not shine at the same time. Mine will shine someday. Come on. Shanda. <laughs> Glory, who oh, glory, girl. Happiest of holidays, warmest Catherine. That is a word, I'm so grateful. Next black owned brand is P.E. Candy. And it's only because I love you that I'm even going to open this box because it's deadly and it's dangerous. You'll find out why in a moment. So the packaging, Tens across the board. Sis completely did that. P.E. Candy is a gourmet pecan company. Some people say pecans. It's a gourmet pecan company. And they were started by a sister who's actually a DMV-based realtor. And during the pandemic, started making delicious snacks. And I'm a snack girl. Trail mix is my love language specifically. So it says, thank you for sharing your life with us and giving the girls white toenail season. We, in parentheses, I adore you. Happiest holidays holidays and enjoy again the packaging is amazing perfect gift yes it has already been open and it has this really cool card that says it's okay to eat the jar look how beautiful she is that's the founder and then I have a three jars of their pecans this one is the salted caramel Blueberry muffin. This is the one I really want to open. Mint chocolate. Kathy's mint chocolate is what that says. But I'm going to wait because I'm going to take these two home. My grandfather loves, loves, loves any kind of nuts, mixed nuts. So he's going to enjoy that. And I'm going to leave this one for me. Because listen, I want to be healthy. I've shared with y'all I'm on my health kick. But I'm doing this for our people. It's a black on brain. As a matter of fact, hold on. So good. Next, we have a Brandon Blackwood item. This came from a friend who decided to rehome her Brandon Blackwood bag, and it is in one of the iconic designs. And so she asked me if I wanted it and I told her yes. I was actually surprised that she was even willing to give it up, but that she wanted to give it to me. So very grateful girl. I appreciate you because this one has been so hard to get your hands on. She sent me a card that says the world is a better place with you in it. Handwritten note that's super sweet. And you probably know from the packaging which bag it is. Let me just say that Brandon's packaging is everything. I mean, the box is weighty. It's substantial. Everything comes with a dust bag. And then we got the Kendrick trunk. Oh, my God. The feet on the bottom. This is so good. I'm so grateful. The inside of it, of course, it opens and expands. We have the crossbody strap. And because she's so thoughtful, she even kept the note card <laughs> that came with the bag. If you all didn't know, every bag comes with a note card. I cannot wait to wear this on my date tomorrow night. I was told to get dressed up to go someplace fancy. I'm probably going to wear a navy blue dress. The one that you all saw with the understance undies. And um, 
I just think navy in this color would just absolutely pop. I got two graphic tees. You probably will have to Google the images because I don't know the name of the brand and I'm obviously not gonna ask the person who gave me the gift. But this one is Nina Simone. Then on the bottom it says Mood, which I absolutely love. This one is hilarious, but so me, and y'all will know why in a second. It says Sage Crystals Meditation Essential Oils and Trap Music. <laughs> I love it. Because I ain't no killer, but don't push me. You see what I'm saying? You're going to be the messed around and found out. Certain essential oils, you ain't going to be able <laughs> To get out the situation with them. You see what I'm saying? So, I don't want to. Anyway. Many thanks for those two t-shirts. I cannot wait to style them. Probably with blazers. Y'all know how I do. Uh, I got two books. Both by black authors. The first one is a black erotica book. Which is actually an anthology. So, by multiple uh, authors, but it's edited by Miriam DaCosta Willis and Reginald Martin. Oh, and Rose, Roseanne P. Bell. So, this is the cover of it, and then it has a series of short stories that are all black erotic fiction, which is a whole genre of fiction that I'm really excited to get into. The second book I got is called The Secret Lives of Church Ladies. I'll pop a picture here of the cover. I've looked everywhere. I don't know where it is. It's probably in my gym bag because I was reading a bit before going to Pilates the other day. But it is another book of short stories. It is so good. I have gotten through the first few. And again, it's about the secret lives of church ladies, what is really going on in the Deaconess Corner. Uh, so it's a little suspenseful. It's a little funny. It's a little beautiful. I mean, it's just so well written. And so again, I will pop over here the picture and also the author's name. Highly recommend that one as well. Oh, and I almost forgot since we're talking about books to include magazines. I got, I'm so excited. <laughs> For the first time in a very long time, a magazine subscription, but in particular, I got AD. I feel like my whole game is about to be just elevated, girl. I feel like my whole game is just about to be elevated for sure. I mean, actually, life is about to be elevated because one of the first stories that I read in here is about a place that I have been obsessed with visiting next year. So I just feel like cosmically everything is coming to me that I need to live my best and most glorious life. And it starts for sure with AD. So AD obviously stands for Architectural Digest. It is a design magazine. They've had some really amazing people um, just as of late, honestly, be featured either in the magazine and or on their YouTube channel, specifically Alicia Keys and Swiss Beats, as well as Elaine Welteroth and her husband. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to diminish her partner. I just don't know the man's name. So, uh, those two were also in and they live in, uh, LA and their home is beautiful. So, uh, I kind of remembered because of those profiles of black folks, content creators and artists, I was like, ooh, AD is a thing. And so when I got it for Christmas, I was just so excited. Girl, Pooks is in here smacking. That wraps up for the most part all of the black owned companies, but I do have something that black people use exclusively. Maybe not exclusively. I'm taking it out of the um, packaging, <laughs> but as a gag gift or maybe not, I got this. If you know what this is, please comment down below. Please comment, girl. Oh, this smell, I literally can never forget. Like it is imprinted into my brain from the early 80s and my uncles, cause they both use this. But it's called Dax Wave and Groom Hairdress. We call it Dax Wax. Basically, you put it on your hair and it lays your hair down and your waves start to come through, okay? Got a haircut recently that was pretty short, so you probably can't really see my waves waving today. But trust, when I put the Dax on and I throw that do-rag on top, not only should you prepare to be sick of me, you should prepare to be seasick of me. That was good. That was good. 
I got two additional gifts from brands, so we'll go there next. La Roche Pose. Y'all did it. <laughs> Y'all did the daggone thing. So I've been on their PR list all year. And let me just say that it is for sure one of my favorite PR lists that I have ever been on. And so very, very grateful for all of their products. I've fallen in love with several of them, which I've spoken to you all about during Vlogmas. My job is to share content around things that I'm loving. And so I want to be able to make recommendations to you all about brands, etc. And I have to use the products over time to really be able to give an honest recommendation. And so that's why brands put influencers or content creators on their PR list, not just because they are hoping for promotion, but they're hoping that you actually really use the product. And if you love it, then you will share. And I can definitely say that La Roche has shown out in several of their products that I have been gifted. So with that said though, what they really showed out with, I'm trying to lift this without completely, is their advent calendar. I don't know if this was available for purchase. If so, I will link it down below just so you can get your hands on it and use all of these things for yourself. Treat yourself, sis, okay? It's funny because it's not just La Roche products, but it's also some white chocolate, a tiny Santa, and you know, your girl loves a cocktail. I love a cocktail. It's also a tiny bottle of Grey Goose in here that I may not be able to get out, but you all know what Grey Goose <laughs> looks like. Um, and I've already started using two of these products. One of them is the Oily Skin Double Repair Matte Moisturizer. Have loved it thus far. And I've also started to use the Eye Cream, which is Anti-Dark dark Circle and Brightening Care. And what I love about it, which I will likely show you at some point during a skincare video, is that it has like a metal tip to it that feels so cooling under your eyes. So I cannot wait to give all of these a try. It's about 10 products here that I am super excited to give a try. So thank you, LaRoche. I'm also on the Creed PR list. I'm so grateful because they sent me this amazing gift set of different Creed perfumes. Uh, I decided because I got so many amazing things this year that I wanted to pour back into my tribe, into our community. So for members who are part of our private tribe, which I will link down below, I'm going to be giving the Creed gift set away. So make sure you tune in to figure out how to enter because this is an amazing, amazing item. I'm gonna just take this off. The packaging is beautiful. If you're into fragrances, you likely know Creed. Creed is a luxury fragrance brand. Paddle. The packaging, girl, I don't wanna rip it, hold on. So daggone luxe. So, so, so luxe. And it is three fragrances. The fragrances are Adventist for Her, Wind of Flowers, and Love in White. So I love all three fragrances. I am super grateful and I cannot wait to get this to somebody in our private community. Oh, here's the book. <laughs> Just FYI. I do have it. Next, I received these towel trackers, which I'm so excited about. So they're all the slim, small towels. It is, I think, four of them in here. They're Bluetooth devices that connect to your phone and it helps you to always be able to locate your keys, your wallet, the remote control. I probably need it on my phones, etc. I'll tell you how I lost my phone in Target that day. This would have been very, very helpful. 
Another piece from a brand that I almost forgot about are these t-shirts and hoodies from Virginia Tourism. Uh, some of you may have seen my ad. I worked with them on a campaign and they then pushed the campaign out through Google. Thank y'all for tagging me and sharing that over on social media. And the campaign was all of all around how we can showcase the diversity that is located in Virginia. And I live in Northern Virginia, right outside of Washington, DC. And so the campaign was sponsored by Heart and Soul VA. They sent me a very nice card. This one says Virginia is for lovers on the front. Uh, and they partnered with a small business called Humble Hustle. I'm assuming a black owned brand to print a variety of items, including t-shirts. And this one says black travel is essential. This one is about all of the outdoor activities you can do in the state, but I just love the font and how it looks kind of old school. And I received two hoodies. This one is there's no place like home. And this one just says Virginia in the state logo next up is an item from massimo duty which i was really excited about i'm excited for everything but for this one because it meant that the gift giver was paying very close attention to things that i love including watching my content <laughs> and so it is a dress from massimo duty this whole piece is not open like this trust me i'll insert a picture because it's kind of hard to hold it up and show you but it's a high neck long sleeve dress um, below the knee, I think it's going to look great with a pair of brown, like chocolate brown boots, my chocolate brown bag, and I don't have anything like this. My goal that they knew about was to find ways to just be warmer, but also chic and cute during the winter months. And so again, knee boots, camel coat, um, brown, chocolate brown boots, chocolate brown bag is how I'm seeing this style. It has a sash around the waist. You're seeing it here. <laughs> I got two pieces by Jock Moose. One of them is definitely being worn during New York Fashion Week once we exchange the size. The first is this a microscopic fuzzy cardigan. This is a runway piece. I have loved this since the moment that I saw it. Hands down, 100%. And so I see myself color blocking this. It has a little Jock Moose gold piece right here in the middle. It comes in a short and a long sleeve version. As you can see, this one is short sleeve and it's this bubblegum pink. I love Jock Moose. I love Jock Moose, one of my favorite designers. And so anything by him, I am going to go up for. I'm also getting ready for a trip to South Florida, Miami, Fort Lauderdale area. And so this gift had that in mind, I believe. And it is this really cool asymmetrical tank and the back is completely open with the little gold adjustment band there but also something I'm sure that would look really cute with a blazer and high-waisted jeans I'm the kind of person that will put all my Christmas gifts on listen everything is going on every single all of it hold on hold on all of them. Who gonna stop me? I'm so happy I shared this with you because now I can get these gifts out of the corner in my bedroom, put things where they belong, eat some more of these pecans. And once again, I'll say many thanks to the brands, family and friends that gave me such beautiful gifts this holiday season. Now I'm going to go run and jump into another call. Um, my days during the middle of the week tend to get pretty packed and I have a lot of smaller pieces of work to do in between. And so, um, you all may know that I do DEI consulting, diversity, equity, and inclusion, and I am working on a few projects today. So I'll go and do that. And then tonight I am going to Pilates boot camp. Pray for me. <laughs> See y'all soon.
morning, good people. It is the last day of Vlogmas for me. It is, this video will come out on Friday the 23rd. I'm traveling home on the 24th. Um, and so I am up. I got up at like 6.30 just trying to get all of my content out. I have some editing to do definitely on the Nespresso this morning. And I also did a super quick face just so I can kind of be on camera either here or on social media all day. And so I've talked to you all before in an earlier Vlogmas about the everyday products that I use, especially if I just want something light. I am loving the Tower 28 SPF 30. It is a tinted sunscreen, almost like a tinted moisturizer. Um, and I just put this on with my hands. It is so easy to use. I love the light coverage and the way it just evens out my skin tone. I wanted a natural lip. And so this is the Bobbi Brown Crushed lip color. And I just uh, put on top of it or underneath it in Ilia Moisturizing Lip Conditioner. Okay, and so this goes on me because my lips are pretty dark, light, and I tend to have to layer it to get any coverage. But I don't mind that because it's kind of like a black girl nude, no lip lip. Brows are by Ilya. This is a essential brow gel or brow tint probably is the best way to describe it. And it's in dark brown. I don't know that there's really any color payoff for me to be honest with you, but my brows are microbladed and I like the way that this kind of holds them in place on top of the microblade. And it tends to darken the areas where they're a little sparse, but not a whole lot. So just keep that in mind. And then mascara today is La Roche Posay. This was sent to me in the advent calendar that they sent me. So. Speaking of advent calendars, actually, I wanted to share with you all some of the standout products in the Aldi wine calendar and also in the Awe calendar as well. Awe is a woman-owned jewelry brand. They reached out to me and gave me their jewelry advent calendar. for It's a 12-day calendar, uh, and I showed you in several of the Vlogmas episodes me unboxing pieces, and so I just wanted to wrap up here to tell you what stood out first is the bracelet that I am wearing today. If you can see, it is a silhouette of Frida Kahlo. And I love the way it stacks with the Cartier Just on Clue. I don't tend to have a very kind of dainty wrist. You know, I'm, I go for the bold, for the chunky, <laughs> typically free maiden pieces, but I love the way these two look together. I got a necklace in the advent calendar and I love this O-ring that you can add pendants onto. You can single them, double them, triple them. It's completely up to you and they come in all different sizes. The entire kind of ethos behind the brand is strong women. Um, so they have certain goddesses, they have Frida, they have Ruth Bader Ginsburg. It is all these iconic images that they then put on their products. And so I really, really like these two. And actually, this would probably be a good layer for what I'm wearing today. This is the pendant that you all saw, the Stella pendant from Amasika. These pieces are, if I'm not mistaken, gold vermeil. Oh, that looks, that looks really nice layered. I'm just wearing a um, vest from Anthropology, so I'm pulling it down so you can see. This can actually be brought up a bit. It has several places where you can actually clasp it closed, which I loved. So I'll leave that on. Hopefully you get a little peek for the rest of the video. Uh, the last thing I'll show you is a pair of earrings. For earrings, I love these drop hoop earrings. The pendant is removable. I have just the hoop on this side today. However, I think if I decided to add the pendant, it would actually give a very cute asymmetrical look in my ears. Many thanks to all for the advent calendar. This is not sponsored by them. Brands give content creators PR gifts quite often. And it's so exciting when I receive something that I actually love. And as a lover of gold jewelry, I think they are a fantastic brand. And I love the mission and the symbolism behind what they do. Now for the portion of the video known as Ned the Wino. Because this is definitely given 12 step program. Um, I did not drink all of these today or in one day, just 
mama, just so you know, okay? Um, this is the standout wines for me from the Aldi wine calendar. Uh, definitely will be repurchasing that next year for sure. It was 24 bottles of wine all in, what size is this? 187 ml so about a glass and a half of wine or so i'm not a big red wine drinker but one of the reds i loved and that is the cab it's called rubicon igt i really really hope that these wines are available individually and then i really liked one of the rosés this one is called di italia and they actually called it call it a rosato uh, maybe because it's a play on Moscato, but definitely not as sweet as Moscato whatsoever. This was delicious, served chilled. And my favorite, because I am a Chardonnay girl, was actually the white blend, which gave Chardonnay, which I thought was really, really good. And I'm a big fan of blends. I'm not a wine snob. I don't have to know all the different ingredients and all the different things that's in it, right? I just know what I like. And so these three are things that I will be definitely looking for at Aldi. Um, I mentioned the Chardonnay. I don't have the bottle for that, but that one was also really, really good. Let me catch you up to last night. I was told to put on something nice because we were going somewhere fancy for drinks. And it was really, really cool to go to the Conrad. They have a bar on the third floor if you're in the DC metro area that actually opens up to a really nice terrace, but it was too cold for that today. But it is definitely a great place to go in warmer weather. Either way, we also had dinner, which was delicious cabbage fried rice or kimchi fried rice, which was... I would go there today for that. And also a short rib dish with polenta, which was a little heavy, but also really, really, I mean short rib, which was also really, really good. Uh, I had a beet cocktail, yes, made with actual beets. And for me, I know I love a cocktail when it's complex, when I can taste all the different flavors, which definitely was uh, true about the cocktails at the Conrad last night. So if you're in the area, you wanna treat yourself to some someplace nice during the holiday season, stop by for sure. Uh, I was a horrible vlogger last night, but I did try to capture at least some vertical footage for Instagram. So you saw what I wore. It was the blue dress that I actually was going to wear to dinner with Margot that you all saw me try on with the understance bike shorts. Uh, didn't end up wearing it in New York, just didn't have time to change. And so I definitely wanted to put that on before I sent my Rent the Runway order back because it is beautiful. I love how it fits my curves. The length is really good on me as well. So I'll make sure I link that dress down below, but I also know you can find it over on Rent the Runway. And that is it, good people. Thank you for rocking with me for Vlogmas. I really enjoyed this time with our tribe I have to tell you that starting January my videos will slow down a little bit I have a very very intense travel schedule I'm away from home every week in January and sometimes taking multiple trips a week in January for work and so with that said I'm going to try really hard to keep up with a one video a week production schedule uh, but just stay tuned to all of my platforms including the private community if you don't see me here trust me I'm over there I'm over there. I'd be outside. I'd be outside. I'd be around the internet streets and I don't want you to miss a thing. Uh, I appreciate again all the love and support. Have a happy holiday season if you celebrate and I will see you good people across the internet. Peace.